Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video of the Smackdown Live, Live. in the Brand Split series. This is not a go-home show because we still have a good five weeks until our pay-per-view, but No Mercy is happening this Sunday, this week Sunday, which is a Raw exclusive pay-per-view. Go check that out on Charles' channel. Yep. Yeah. What did Raw get this week? 80... Six. 86 B plus. I don't think we'll beat that, but let's hope we can equal. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Equal for all. So yeah, um, we've got some matches. We've, we're we're going to pre-book some matches for Vengeance this this um, episode. So yeah, let's get right into it. In our first pre-show bout in a 61 C. Um, the Usos defeated the Vaude Villains in 10.08 when Jimmy Uso defeated Simon Gotch with an Alleyus. Alleyus? J, J and Jimmy Uso have great chemistry, yeah, because they're fucking twins. Uh, next pre-show match, 78B, John Cena defeats Derek, Derek Bateman in 10.24 by pinfall of an attitude adjustment. That in-ring performance. Aye, aye. Lack of psychology. <laughs> next segment. 72B minus AJ Styles defeats Zack Ryder with Styles Clash in ring performance. 78B Dean Ambrose defeats Baron Corbin in 1120. This is a last pre show match. In ring performance, great chemistry. Jeez. Uh, next segment, we start off the show 96A star, you know, normal little show opening, and then we have how. In, uh, I think, the past six years, every single Raw started with a John Cena promo and then Alberto Del Rio um, uh, underperformed in the segment. we still got a 100A star. He comes out and they start brawling and stuff. They're getting, they're getting ready for the match of vengeance. It's a blood feud, ladies and gentlemen. In the next segment... In a semi-final match in the tag team tournament in the 69C+, American Alpha defeat the Rockstar Club in 909, where Chad Gay will defeat Kenny Omega by pinfall. I'm sad. Slater's push has ended. <laughs> no more Slater push. Hashtag Barry Slater. No, I, 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 I like how Slater had a better performance than Jason Jordan. Yeah. I, I'm still going to... I'm probably still going to push Rockstar Club as a tag team, because I like them. I, I like the look. They have matching shades. Come on. How can you not like that? <laughs> Next segment. 83B. We say that Daniel Bryan announces tonight's main event between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. If Bray Wyatt defeats Randy Orton, he can get what he seeks, which is a world heavyweight title match at Vengeance. Dun, dun, dun. In the next match, in a... 33 E plus in an absent, absent, abysmal, 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 abysmal. and match Naomi defeat abysmal. Carmella. I said it. Abysmal. 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 Ha ha ha. In 609 by pinfall of a rear view. Oh God. God. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Women's division. Yay. Next segment. 74 B minus. Derek. Bateman is furious. He wants a proper chance here at SmackDown. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan says, oh, you can't just demand chances like that. But you know what? Because of our history together, because of because of me being your former mentor, I'll give you this opportunity at Vengeance against the legend killer, the Viper, the apex predator, Randy Orton. Ooh, your card's starting to take shape. Yeah. So we have Mr. Randy Orton. This is Mr. Derrico Batemano. Next segment. 60 70 plus in our other pre show match. A pre show? Semi final match for the tag team tournament, uh, title tournament. In about bad, decent wrestling, but don't have much heat. Harper and Rowan defeated Mercy Machine Guns in 9.36 when Luke Harper defeated Alex Shelley by pinfall with a discus clothesline. Eric, Eric Rowan was the weak link. But and hey, Luke Harper was the best. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have a yin-yang thing going here. 
So this sets up our final for Vengeance. We have Harper and Rowan versus American Alpha. Interesting, interesting. To become the tag team champions on SmackDown. Yep. It's taking shape. Definitely taking shape. The card is, of course. In the next segment... Then the 81B in a battle of had great wrestling and good heat. Kurt Angle defeated The Miz in 1321 by pinfall with Angle Slam. Kurt Angle makes defense number one of his WWE Intercontinental title. Lack of psychology, that's all right. Still an 81B, decent match. And in the next segment... Oh my god, it's Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes runs in and attacks Kurt Angle in the 79B. God damn it. Cody... His arrogant heel gimmick got a great, and he is going after the Intercontinental title. Again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Next segment. 54 C minus in 46, sec 46 seconds. Mojo defeated Mojo Rawley in the Muscle <laughs> Buster. This, as planned, this match brought the fans da back down a little. And then we have Daniel Bryan saying that, you know what, Mojo, you haven't done shit on SmackDown. You're going da back down to developmental. And then we cut to a backstage um, view of Apollo Crews doing his like celebration dance that he won't have to team with this sh uh, shitty wrestler ever again. And they got an 81B. It's about the only decent thing Mojo's done. Yeah. Well, he hasn't. He wasn't rated on anything, so. <laughs> good. He was just there in the ring, crying for a good minute. <laughs> and everyone's like, "You suck. You, you suck. suck. You, you suck. suck. You like suck." Like Bella. Um. <laughs> and then we get a ninety A. Dean Ambrose had an interview hyping up. Bray Wyatt and his possibility to face him at Vengeance for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Dean Ambrose says he's not scared. He's never been scared. Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt can make his fake promises. Bray Wyatt can talk about his sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt can talk these scare, this scary propaganda, but he'll, he'll never be scared. Ambrose isn't sane enough to be scared. Ambrose will just walk into Vengeance beat Bray Wyatt up, and walk out WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And the match gets a... 82B, meh. In about about super wrestling and great heat, Bray Wyatt defeated Randy Orton in 1935 by pinfall with his sister Abigail. During the match, we also had Derek Bateman run in and attack Randy Orton. Definite lack of psychology, that's probably what brought it down. Yep. And yeah, and we uh, end off with a 100 A star. Brewer is celebrating his victory in the ring. Dean Ambrose runs in and attacks him, beating him down into the mat. And we end off the show with an overall rating of 88 B plus. Oh, four all. It's four all, ladies and gentlemen. Smackdown, two weeks in a row. Oh, picking up the win. Oh dear, that's scary. <sighs> okay. Oh, I forgot I forgot to pre-book in Bray Wyatt versus uh, Dean Ambrose, but I'll do that after. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed yep. this great episode of SmackDown, it seems. Now, quickly head over to my channel From... to check out No Mercy. Yeah, no Mercy. It's is on, coming. like, right now. It's on right now. Yeah, right now. So go watch it. So please like, subscribe, and see ya. See ya. I, I, mixed, it up. I mixed it up then, so I'm saying bye.